So I was gonna wait to clean it until this came off. Yeah, but that makes sense. Sorry, and I keep, thank you. I keep cleaning. cleaning it. I appreciate it. Eh, subframe's all done. It's all painted. Paint's all dried. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty stoked with it. Jed did a killer job making the top of it look nice. And uh, Jed's also been working on the inside of the engine bay. In the Z. It's all clean. You can actually see the frame right now. I don't know if we got anything before, but it was disgusting. Thanks, dude. There's some. It doesn't look much better. It actually just looks like an engine bay. It should look after 100,000 miles now. Yeah, but before there was before all of that was... on it. Oh yeah, I guess there's the something. Yeah. What was? That is high class. I don't right think there. you can get better than that. So we gotta go up to before it hits this, and then I'll tilt this up and slide it on top of the cross member, John. Oh, I see, you're trying to, I didn't see the cross member. Sorry, I didn't realize that, I couldn't see that, the subframe, so. Oh. There you go, it's in there. So right. that's in there, and there's now cross here. member. You. I went to start editing the footage from the engine stuff, and I realized that there's like, no footage of any of the engine stuff we did aside from like cleaning part of it that being said we didn't do a whole lot with the engine we resealed the whole thing and hopefully it won't be leaky now there were there weren't really any upgrades fixed a couple of broken things i had a oil check valve that was blown up somehow and so i put a new one in you know it's just a nice refresh that we've done to the motor and so that's, that's where we're at now. I really want to like the VG. When I got this car, I was like, man, how, how bad could it be, you know? Uh, it kind of sucks, like any way you cut it. There's so much stuff. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't the best of times working on this engine. And that seems to be like what people say. And I was really holding out for the VG. I was really like, you know, maybe once you get this and that taken care of, it's like really not that bad to work on and really maybe it's just not that bad. And I, I still don't think that the engine itself is a bad package. Like obviously I'm keeping it. It's, it's a, a good, good engine. engine and I hope it lives a long time. I think it will, it should. But if this thing blows up, I don't know if I want to get another VG. Here's and put my, it in here. Here's my thinking on it. Maybe I would. They're really cheap it, and they're I mean, everywhere. Yeah. So, but I don't know, man. I mean, or you can do an LS one. Just saying. It's, I don't want to put an LS in this thing. I don't know. It's been a journey with the VG. I'm really glad it is where it is. And I feel like I've learned a lot with it. And I'm stoked that I did it once. If I needed to do it again, it'd be a lot easier. And I know how to do it. But I definitely wouldn't be excited about doing it again. My thinking is that it is an V engine, so you've got like two of everything that you got to do, and so it's it's definitely a little bit uh, more funky because of that. But I think it's a decent engine. It sounds cool, and it definitely does the job. But as for maintaining it and working on it, it seems kind of stressful. Looking like a four out of ten, boys and girls. Stick with your Jay Z's. Need to get the exhaust lifted up and on the hangers. I have some new gaskets for the exhaust. And uh, after that, we're gonna see if this thing starts. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, that's heavy. Hang on, let me get Sorry. more of my fucking legs slipped. More of my meat sack under this thing. Okay, I have a lot of props and I probably won't cramp up for at least another 20 seconds. It's late, we've been here a long time. Everything's together. It looks really, really nice. Uh, I'm very excited to get rid of the last handful of red hoses. 
because once those are gone, it'll look just like an engine. Just an engine in a bay. Nothing weird. Nothing funky. Anyway, stuff's plugged in aside from the throttle bodies. But uh, once these guys are in, I'm going to give it a try. See if we can start this boy. Here we go, everybody. Um, the ground cable's too loose. Are you kidding? No, I hope not. I mean, I hope so. Okay. One of those. This fucking guy. Ah, ground's too, ground's too loose. <laughs> <laughs> B A Z, come on. Come on. <laughs> Remember, she's got new oil, so she's just got to work up to it. Yeah. Belts sound perfect. Belts sound like uh, everyone else's fucking belts now. Belts work, that's good. and then they shut up. It either broke or it fixed itself. We got James here, first of all. Mr. M Pro himself. Mr. RB20 Motor. Uh, he, he's helping us make sure it doesn't suck. So, seems like things weren't totally goobered. Uh, James loosened up the cast, the cast and gave it a little twist and she sounds much, much better than she did this morning. So. Uh, we're putting the timing light on right now. We're gonna get it timed properly and hopefully we'll be good to go to the beach. Beach time. Yeah, beach time. Uh, yeah, get your head out of there. It's gonna take a second for it. I'll get the right. belts to stop. They're fucking, they're sad right now. I think it's getting better the more they wear in. It was missing. Because when I set it there, just eyeballed it and then we revved it, we were actually at 15. Sweet. <laughs> just like a RV. I Good think it's go. probably the same sensor too. Yeah, that's that was my guess. Yeah, fucking dog shit ass 360 optical sensor. Jamie, yeah, it works. <laughs> it gets the job done. It gets the job done. It do what it needs to. I think it'll need a little bit more. It sounds a little picky. It just, I just saw it very big ball. It's pretty small. Yeah, then that'll 
complete uh, your alternator. Is that an overcharge? Do you have any voltage reading? In yeah. It? What are you at? 15, 16, 15, 4, 16, 1, 15, 1, 14, 3, 14, 4. And then are your lights still flickering? Oh. Yeah. But usually if shit like this overcharges, uh, the voltage regulator in there is bad. Uh, in the alternator? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that makes sense, okay. And then it's usually a brand new alternator because I don't think these are serviceable. Yeah, no, no, no. How hard is it to do an alternator? Uh, they're low, I don't think it would be that bad. It's been 9.30. Uh, James has fixed the Z. Twice. Twice. Two times. Twofold. Uh, James got the cast all situated and he replaced the alternator with a new one. Oh, fuck. So we are all good to go. We need to bleed the coolant one more time and get the car on the ground. Make sure we have tire pressure. We need to double check all the lugs. And the car should be more or less ready to go wherever the heck we're going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. I still gotta take a shit. I felt that. Yeah, no, I didn't. I just shook the whole Just like Fucking smoke. All right, I'm out. All right, you're good. Good running. VG30. Wallace is here, dude. He's putting in the hours with the crew. Oh. It's so late. I'm so stoked, but it's kind of hard to tell. I'm ready for bed. Dude, car. I'm gonna drive the Z home. It's fucking sick. Isn't it Woolish? definitely tired it's running crazy good it's running really really well how many millions of miles does this thing have like uh, 211,764 miles those are rookie numbers it's had the same number of miles on it for how many months now <laughs> hey fuck off dude it's been a tough couple of months man Man, this car feels so much better than it did when I started taking things apart. The mixture of the steering rack relocation, the lightweight flywheel, and the new differential out of the Skyline. The difference it made on this car is insane. It's so much more fun to drive now. With the original 410 that came in this car, it was kind of a dog. Couldn't really get out of second at the track. Never was able to get it quite into third. But with the 4.3, there's no question I'm going to be able to enter in third. I don't know. Should be a really good time. Especially on the track. I think all these little tweaks are going to completely transform the car. It's always been a blast to drive. It's always, you know, handled good. It's, it's always worked for drifting. It's never really been a great drift car. But at this point... It feels like it might be comparable to like an E36 or something similar. And that is just perfect to me. I could go on about how excited I am about how things turned out on this car for a while. 
I don't think I've ever put a car together and driven it and had it just feel so so correct um, I'd let anybody drive this car it's super super easy to drive now and on top of that I think it's gonna be way more capable on track so that's gonna do it today for the Z I'm really itching to get this thing on the track because it's gonna be so much fun to drive this now that steering doesn't feel scary and it actually feels like it's got some juice engines running good it's it's not smoking anymore like it used to it used to smoke like a oh it was bad man i'm stoked hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys have been stoked there's actually been some content recently gonna try to keep on top of it keep things rolling but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy thank you guys for watching and uh see you in the next one do a trade plan